Welcome back for another 5-minute movie recap. Today, I'm going to give you an overview of the 2018 South Korean superhero film called, Psychokinesis. This is director Yeon Sang-ho's second live-action film, following his live-action debut Train to Busan in 2016. It is the first South Korean superhero film, and it focuses on a bank security guard who gets telekinetic superpowers after drinking water from a meteor-affected mountain spring and chooses to use them to save his estranged daughter and her neighborhood from an evil construction firm. Warning. There will be spoilers ahead, so please proceed with caution. Shin Ru Mi owns and operates a popular fried chicken restaurant in Seoul. Tae San, a mob-run construction business, engages her in a real estate dispute. Her tiny store will be demolished, and a huge retail area for Chinese visitors will be built in its place. Ru Mother Mies is slain in a violent confrontation one night when she is being forced evicted from her business by hired thugs. The death of Ru Mother Mies is interwoven with images of a falling meteor later in the hospital. So Kian, an apparently carefree security guard who participates in petty thievery, develops telekinetic powers after drinking water from a meteor-hit mountain spring. Ru Mi approaches her estranged father, So Kian, to notify him about his ex-death wife's and following burial. He observes a fight between Ru Mi and President Min, who oversees TAE activities. Sans Min tries to make up for Ru loss, Mies but she vehemently refuses and insists that he leave the premises. So Kian learns more about the turf battle from Kim Yung Yun, a young attorney who represents Ru Mi and the other local business owners' legal interests. So Kian attempts to re-establish contact with Ru Mi, but she is still traumatized by his abandoning of her as a kid. Ru Mi criticizes So Kian of being an irresponsible father when he subsequently attempts to display his newfound skill. The store owners have joined Ru Mi in a joint legal action against Tae San after being denied compensation for the loss of their companies. Tae Goon Sans come and begin attacking them as they are barricaded in a retail arcade. So Kian appears and utilizes his abilities to beat off the attackers, leaving everyone in awe. When Min attempts to report the incidents to the police, the officer on duty does not believe him much to the amusement and joy of the store owners. So Kian then employs his telekinesis to construct a huge wall around the market area, therefore safeguarding the local merchants. Meanwhile, Min meets with director Hong, TAE owner Sans who is aware of Sok abilities. He and she instructs Min to form a new firm under a different name and draft a new contract in order to legally demolish the local businesses. She utilizes her contacts to get police assistance and creates a distraction by having So Kian detained on bogus charges. Min and his goons instruct the riot police to demolish the barrier and arrest the store owners after removing So Kian from the situation. With the cops on their tail, Ru Mi and the business owners run to a nearby building. So Kian escapes his detention cell after watching the incident on the news and summons the power to fly. He gets on the scene just as the store owners reach the rooftop of another building and the SWAT squad arrives via a crane-mounted temporary structure. They kidnap Ru Mi and pull her into the hanging structure. Unfortunately, the crane fails and Ru Mi is thrown out. So Kian swoops in and saves her before handing her over to the fugitive store owners. He approaches Min, who is present with the riot police, and punches him unconscious before surrendering to the cops. So Kian is freed from jail four years later and is picked up by Ying Yun, who announces his engagement to Ru Mi. They go to the site of Ru restaurant, Mi's which is now an empty and vacant plot. Ying Yun explains that TAE proposal Sans was eventually unsuccessful and building has been postponed. They arrive at Ru Nu Mi's restaurant, where So Kian sees his daughter and the neighborhood business owners. To everyone's pleasure, he then utilizes his skills to serve beverages to the clients. The name of Ru Nu Mi's restaurant, Superpower Chicken, is then revealed. If you like this movie, click the link in the description below to watch it today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Have a great day ahead.